if you're a local business owner and you're fighting and competing to get into that three pack of the Google map listing, obviously you're going to need some backlinks. So I'm going to share with you guys the three types of backlinks that I strongly believe you should go out there and look for to give you that edge and put you into the top and beat out your competitors. What up there guys, this is here once again, Get Busy LLC, helping local businesses, contractors, home service business owners understand website design, SEO, and getting their business found on Google to get them more leads for their business. In this video, I wanna talk about competitive markets and going out there and looking for backlinks that are gonna give you that edge and push you above your competition. There are some industries, there are some niches, there are some businesses that are way more competitive than others when it comes to marketing online and getting found organically, especially in that Google three pack of the Google map listings. There's industries like plumbing and carpet cleaning and junk removal, uh, especially law firms. I don't deal with any of that crap. And then you got some industries that are completely a cakewalk, easy to get into asphalt paving, concrete, deck builders, been recently working with land clearing, things like that. Just virtually no competition. Even, even a dummy can get in there and just make the basic stuff and they'll rank very, very well online. But in competitive markets, what Google's going to want to see is your business to have a lot more trust. It really wants to see why you are the best in that particular market. So for example, let's say that you are a plumber in Santa Barbara, California, it's a pretty lucrative place, a lot of money in that town, and there's probably 20, 30 different plumbers in that town. So in order to get your plumbing business and your plumbing business profile to the top of those Google search results, especially in that little three pack, it is your job to prove to Google that you are the top, one of the top three out of those 20 or 30 plumbers in that particular location. And how you do that is a bunch of different ways. Of course, number one is setting up the Google business profile to begin with, make sure it's filled out 100%. You put on every single service that you provide on there, put a bunch of pictures on there, make sure everything's out, filled out completely 100% on that Google business profile. Next thing, of course, you're gonna want to build a very well-structured website that gives all of the information to that Google business profile and to your customers of exactly all the services that you provide. And you gotta make sure that that website specifically says that you provide those services in that specific location, in that specific town. Because again, what we're looking for is local relevancy. Prove to Google that you are in that local market and you are one of the best in that market. And of course, you're going to have to go out there and start getting some reviews, as many as you possibly can that are locally relevant. People giving reviews in that market to, again, prove to Google that you're one of the best in that location. Now, again, it doesn't matter. This is not strictly for plumbing. This goes across the board. If you're a roofer in that town, AC and heater repair, a carpet cleaning business, a junk removal business, whatever home service that you're providing in that area, you got to do that across the board on everything, right? But what's really going to start to push the needle and push you above the competition is doing all of that and also going out there and looking for backlinks to point to your website which also is going to push your Google business profile to the top and give Google all it needs to prove to it that you are one of the best. Google's going to want to see that you're being sh that your business website is being shared on other websites, on other platforms, and other locations to prove to its the, the algorithm, its search engine, that you are the best at what you do and push you into that three pack. So I'm going to share with you guys the three types of backlinks that I've noticed over the years and from doing this for a very long time that I've seen actually move the needle and help a business push, get that business push in that Google three pack. And I'm going to show you guys some examples of these and also where you can start looking for them and start reaching out and getting them for yourselves. So let me show you exactly the first type of backlink that I've noticed Google is really looking for. Now, before you get started with any of this stuff, one of the things you should do is go out there and get business listing citations done. Um, I show places where you can get them done really, really cheaply for like a dollar a piece. Basically, what it does is you go out there and get your business name, address, phone number, and a link to your website on directories online all over the place. It's just across the board. And what that does is starts to tell Google that you're making noise online. You're out there trying to promote your business on various different directories and get that going. Just gives you a little baseline of a few backlinks already pointing back to your website. So 
with that in mind, one of the things I've noticed that Google looks for, and I've seen that websites rank, when businesses go out there and get backlinks from specific directories from a particular industry. So for example, let me show you one here. Uh, so it's Roofer, right? There's Preferred Contractor for Owens Corning Roofing Supplies. So these guys install roofs and they use Owens Corning shingles. So they are listed in the Preferred Contractor directory here. And you can see a backlink set up here that points right back to these people's website right there. And you'll see that there's some out there when you start looking for these backlinks from some of your competitors or some competitors in other regions and other states, you're going to see that they are listed in industry specific directories just like this right here. And you'll see them for everything. There's stuff for out there. You'll find some oddball ones, some out there for, there's some out there for like junk removal companies. There's some out there like said for roofing companies. Uh, I've seen some out there for plumbing, for example. Like I think this is a type of water softener, right? And you could see this business right here is listed as an authorized dealer. So you can see it's a directory. It's a link from this directory of plumbers that use this brand of water softener. And you can see a link that points to that website right here. And there you go. So you need to go out there and start looking for industry specific directories for your industry. Like I said, there's some out there for all types of things, for cleaning, for dentists I've seen, I've seen for plumbing, I've seen for roofing. There's some industries where I haven't seen any at all, but there's ways to go out there and start looking for directories in specific industries. And if you find something like this, go ahead and reach out to these people, especially if you do provide, if you're a plumber and you do provide this type of water softener and get listed on their website and create a backlink. Now, if I'm Google, I own Google, I'm crawling this, looking through this website, I'm gonna see, yeah, this looks like a legitimate backlink. Yeah, this guy does provide these water softeners and he's a plumbing business. Yeah, this totally makes sense for this website to be listed on this website in this particular page. And other types of directories you want to look into is the directories from local chambers of commerce. So a lot of towns have local chambers of commerce and they have directories online. And a lot of these chambers of commerce will allow you to add your business name, your business address, your business phone number, and a link right back to your website. For example, I was looking at a top ranking lawyer in St. George, Utah, just to see some of their backlinks and see why they're ranking at the top. Not only is their website structured perfectly, but they're also getting a lot of backlinks. But you can see they got a link that points right back to their website right there. And this chamber of commerce clearly says St. George, Utah. So again, if I'm a human being, I'm crawling and checking the backlinks of this actual business. Does this look like a legitimate backlink to point back to this website? Does it look legit in the eyes of a regular human being? Absolutely. This guy's out here trying to promote his business, his law firm, and all these other businesses out there trying to do the same thing. And there is some individuals that actually go to these directories and look for businesses. So why not place your business in there? It puts you in front of those people and it's creating trustworthiness with a great backlink pointing back to your website. Other backlinks that you'll start to discover when you start doing these searches, investigating, are links from local markets, local areas, things that you can donate to that you're participating in the local community. So I was, as I was looking for that plumber, some of those top ranking plumbers and why they're ranking, one of the backlinks I noticed right here was for this pirate football team. I don't know if it's San, San Inez pirate football. I don't know if it's a, like a minor league football team, high school, whatever it might be. But I see all these businesses promoting their business on here by sponsoring something on this page. You're going to see there's that Coast Plumbing page that was ranking at the top of Google and I see a link right there that goes to that website. And you can see that this page is specifically for San Inez. It's like a town, just like maybe a, like two to three miles away from Santa Barbara. So it's completely locally relevant. This business is actually trying to promote itself to its customers in this location. So if I'm, again, a human being crawling through this website and I see a link pointing back to that plumber, what does that tell me? It tells me this guy's trying to promote his business. This is a legit, good backlink and it's proven to Google's algorithm this guy's trying to promote in this local area. And you'll see a bunch of stuff like this. Like I saw this in Utah, St. George. It's like a golf course tournament out there and you can see all these people. Look at this guy. It does appliance repairs. He's promoting that business. Let's see here. Uh, promoting this event to try to get his name out there. There's a nursery here. Let's see what we got going on. There's that law firm again, McMullen. Now you're starting to see why he's one of the top ranking law firms, injury attorney in that St. George area. And I've seen this other page here, St. George. I don't know if it's some kind of like boys and girl types 
of club or something like that. And you can promote right here. You can uh, sponsor some stuff on here. And this website will allow you to, you can see that, place a link or a logo on their website to let people know that you're sponsoring this page. And again, it's creating another backlink to McMillan Injury Attorneys. So the more type of backlinking that you do like this, it's really, really good for your business because it's starting to show Google that you're locally relevant. You're out there trying to promote promote your business. And like I said, it's creating all these signals online and letting Google know that you are one of the best top three businesses for that service in that location. And it's going to put you above the competition. And finally, the last type of backlink you should be out there trying to get is backlinks from live websites with live traffic that are talking about things related to your industry. So for example, if you are a junk removal business, try to get your website linked from a website that has to do with home improvement, decluttering, uh, something related to the industry of the junk removal industry. If you're a remodel contractor, try to get an article written on a website with traffic about, let's say, tips on replacing a toilet, whatever, something related to your business. And what you try to do is like, get an article written place it on a live website with live traffic, and you, sh you should have a link that points right back to your business. Just like this guy here, who's doing dumpster rentals, there's a link pointing right back to his website on an article written on how to clean, declutter, and downsize before a big move on this website here with some live traffic, something related to his industry. Then you got another website here talking about why asphalt is the preferred choice for roads, there's an article written about that. And if you scroll through, through here, you're going to see there's a link that says Asphalt Paving Company. And you click on it and it goes right back to this Asphalt Paving website. So again, pretend that you're Google and you're scouring the internet and you look at this page. It's talking about asphalt, why asphalt's important for roads. And there's a link referring to this other website about asphalt paving. Doesn't that seem natural? There's people actually visiting this website, people clicking through some of this stuff. So you have industry specific directories that are pointing back to that website. You have locally relevant websites in the local area. Like for example, those pages where people donated to that local event, Chamber of Commerce's links that prove to Google that this is a local business. And then you have links coming from websites that are related to the industry that you are in. All of that combined, plus everything I said at the beginning of this video, proves to Google that you're one of the best, one of the top three businesses in that location. And it's going to help push your business profile to the top, as well as your website underneath the organics, which isn't as important as it used to be. It's still cool to have, but push you to the top of those search results. So where exactly do you go out there and find these types of backlinks? Well, it's actually pretty simple. You have to go out there and get keywords everywhere. I, I mentioned that quite often here on my channel. It costs about 70 bucks for the whole year. And what you need to do is you go out there and start looking for your competitors. And this tool will show you some of the backlinks that they got. And the reason they're at the top, clearly see, start scrolling and looking for their backlinks. Uh, there's also two more tools that I, that I recommend. They're completely free. And all you have to do is go out there, again, look at the top three in the Google Map listings, copy their business name from the Google Business Profile listings, look them up on Google, look at their website, put it into that thing, and start scrolling and skimming through one by one looking through all those backlinks and see if there's something that catches your eye. That's either a directory of some type of chamber of commerce link, some kind of local page where you can donate something, or if it's a, a link from a website that's related to their industry. And what you can also do is just go out there and look at other towns and other states that are your same industry and see why they're ranking at the top as well. Now, as far as the other links where you can get from live websites with live traffic, all I do is just go out there and recommend just purchasing the backlinks. There's a place I'm starting to really favor. It's called Logonics. And you go on there and you could go there one by one and look at some of the websites that they have, how much the link's going to cost. It could range from 175 bucks to 500 bucks to 600 bucks, depending on the traffic and the actual website. You can actually go on there and click on the website and see if you like it. And then just pay them to do everything. You pay them to write the article. You pay them to put the link and point everything back to your website. And like I said, it's a steady flow of getting backlinks from those places, those directories, those locally relevant websites. 
doing that on a monthly basis, little by little after, you know, six months, a year, whatever goes down the road, you're going to build up a lot of authority and a lot of trust with this Google search engine and place your business at the top of those Google search results. Now, if you guys need help with any of that stuff, I go into more detail on how to do all of this stuff. You can check in the description below. I got a little group you can, you can join and I'll teach you some of this stuff, how to structure your website, how to set up the Google business profile correctly, how to do it all and take care of everything. And if this is something that you don't even want to deal with, it's something that you need but you just don't want to deal with it i can also help you with that inside of that group there's also a place where you can book a call with me i could take a look at your business and see if i can help you and get things going for your business now there's a lot of backlinks out there that you should not be getting and i created a video that talks about those right here that could actually just then i don't really think they'll hurt your business but you're just going to be wasting your time and you're going to be wasting your money and getting things like that so that's all i got for you guys today until next time